Margaret, well, the euro may be scoring gains after that pair of surprise GDP reports from Europe's top two economies that you were discussing with Andrew. But the real rally is happening in commodity currencies and higher underlying prices. Well, they're just part of the story. Let's get more now from Brennan Lothary. Yes, Brennan? Scarlett, we're talking about Norway's krona, the New Zealand dollar, the Australian dollar, and Brazil's real. Now, those currencies are all on a roll thanks to a double blessing, higher interest rates and higher commodity prices. Hope is running high again today that the world economy is bouncing back, and that brings rising interest rates back into focus. These countries already have higher rates than the U.S., and as they emerge from the recession, those rates will go even higher. Higher interest rates are one of the most attractive features for currency investors because of that higher yield. Now, one reason those countries are set to lead the pack when it comes to raising rates and emerging from a recession is commodities. Their economies are highly tied to commodity exports, hence the name commodity currencies. So strong gains in copper and in crude in particular are giving these currencies a shot in the arm today. Bottom line, if you're betting the world on the world economy that it's on the mend, strategists say commodity currencies could be your best currency bet. Scarlett. All right, Brennan. Well, you can find all the latest currency numbers and stories on our website, Bloomberg.com.